Ito ho muna mga kapatid, ah. ito ho yung napaka-importante rin. If you notice, uh, itong mga nagdaang araw po ay napakamahal po ng asukal. No? And then, ito ho yung napaka-importante rin issue kasi pinag-uusapan din po natin dito ay kapakanan po ng libu-libong mga manggagawa po sa mga sakahan po ng tubo. Alright, and the sugar industry in the Philippines. Eh, as you know, doon po sa usapin po ng galunggong at mga ilang pang makirel isda, ang pinag-uusapan doon ay ilang uh, metric tons na naman po, di ba? 60,000 metric tons. Uh, dito ho naman po sa asukal, ang balak daw ho ay kung tamang pagkakaalala ko, 400,000 metric tons. Ganun ba? Ang dali lang, ating pong kausapin si Ginoong Robert Cuenca, ang Pangulo po ng Asociacion de Asociacion de Agricultores de la Carlota y Ponteverda Incorporated. Good Magandang umaga po, Robert. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Pailon. Opo, kasama ko po si Cha Cha po sa ating programa. Uh, yes, Cha. Good morning, Cha. Morning. Opo. Sir, Sir Robert, uh, una po sa lahat, ano ho ang pangkalahatang reaksyon ng inyong grupo dito po sa inanunsyo po ng SRA na pag-aangkat nga, tama ho bang pakakaalala uh, ko, 400,000 metric tons? No, the, the sugar order that came out, uh, sugar order number 3, provided for an importation of 200,000 tons. I'm sorry, 200,000 metric tons. I'm sorry, 200,000 yes. metric tons. Yan po ang sinasabi ng SRA. Pero sa pangkalahatan po ng inyong samahan, ano po ang inyong reaksyon dito muna? Uh, we are against any importation because we are now at the peak of our milling season. And 200,000 tons, if you multiply that 50 kilo per, per bag, that is equivalent to 4 million bags of sugar. 4 million. Now, we are now at the peak of our milling season. Mr. Pylon, may I... Go through figures. Go ahead. Go ahead, sir. Okay. Just an example on my district, and that is the La Carlota Milling District. In one week alone, one week alone, from September uh, 7 to, to, no, from February 7 to February 13, the sugar mill that includes us farmers, we were able to produce 137,000 bags of sugar. Now, this has been going on for the past 25 weeks. With the peak season now, can you imagine inside of our bodega, there's almost 1 million bags of sugar. Now, we do not know why suddenly the sugar order came out. We are now at the peak of our milling season. Mm-hmm. And who gets hit by the sugar order? The very farmer that he wants supposedly to protect. That is the opinion of the farmers here. Why now? Ill time. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, Sir Robert, ang SRA po, no, sa kanilang announcement, uh, kanyo ho namang siguro nabasa maging sa mga interview sa kanila, This is because of the ODET factor na may mga tinamaan din daw pong uh, uh, um, areas na ang tanim nga po ay tubo at source natin ng sugar plus ito nga pong sinasabing kakulangan naman sa supply kaya po tumataas yung per kilo price ng refined sugar sa palengke. What's your take on that? All right, uh, Typhoon ODET uh, hit most of the southern portion of, of Negros. Uh, we have actually, all over the Philippines, we have 17 sugar mills in the Visayas. We have six sugar mills in Luzon, four sugar mills in Mindanao, for a total of 27. Now, put that only the southernmost portion. The northern portion of Negros Occidental, especially the central Negros, although it was hit, the, the damage was really not that high. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are still milling. 
the the earlier we finish milling, the better. Mm-hmm. But since we are now at the peak of our milling season, and if ever uh, the, our beneficiaries are milling late because of the destruction of some of the sugar roads mm-hmm. that would allow them to bring their sugar cane to the sugar mill, it took uh, a delay. There was a delay of at least three weeks. Now we all of those have been uh, repaired. Mm-hmm. So we are now milling. We are now at the peak of the milling season. So why come out with the sugar order of this kind? Get why don't we finish the milling season mm-hmm. and then talk about maybe sugar order, another sugar order to protect the farmers? Mm. Opo. Okay. Um, uh, Sir Robert, para din po mas maintindihan po ng tao no, ang sitwasyon po ninyo. And then vis-a-vis, kasi usually po ang, ang, ang consumer naman din kung ano yung mas mura, yeah. mas, mas maganda sa kanila. No? Bago natin itong hayan yun. Ah, uh, ito pong uh, sa, sa, sa isda, ang DA meron silang uh, council no? na nag-aaral muna ng mga datos bago po mag-rekomenda kung, kail- kung kailangan talaga ng importasyon, ganito lang kadaming i-import natin bilang tugon sa shortage. Okay, sa inyo po bang hanay, may kaukulan din ho ba kayong konsultasyon o konseho na nagpapayo sa SRA na kung may shortfall tayo ng produksyon, ganito lamang kadami o kakaunti ang dapat na pinapayagang i-import. May ganun ho ba? Uh, there is consultation. But I'm sure we, if he has consulted the farmers, we, the farmers would have objected because of the milling season. Mm-hmm. This is how the, the farmer is at a, at a loss at, at this time mm-hmm. the the farmers the, especially our beneficiaries expects that for every friday when they mill uh, their produce to the sugar mill bring it to the sugar mill and it is being sold on thursday by friday all of their produce are being liquidated and the and the money goes to them directly mm. now This is every week. Now, with the sugar order, there is already a drop in the uh, prevailing price of our bidding. The prevailing price drop already as in La Carlota alone, it's already less than 188. So the sugar order actually hit the very farmer that he wants to protect. Mm-hmm. It is not us if there is hoarding. It is not us because we have to sell every week. Mm-hmm. Whatever is the bidded price, we always we, we cannot afford to hold. There's no such thing as hold, holding hoarding mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because we have to give to the farmers, to our beneficiaries, Apa, yung, uh, um, all all that the, the proceeds that is due them, Apa, and yung, this is weekly, oh, and we cannot. Uh, Mm-hmm. It is not us. I think the the administrator should take a look at and investigate first rather than come out with this sugar order number three. Opo. Okay. So, sir, uh, beef, ito ho bang 200,000 metric tons? Ano ho bang balita ninyo? Ito ho ba ay, meron na ho bang portion na dumating dito? Uh, not at the, sta- at the moment now. Wala mm-hmm. pa. Wala, Wala pa. pa. Opo. Wala pa. Opo. Not that I know. Opo. Wala. Wala. Opo. Uh, sa ngayon po kasi, sa DTI mismo, sa Bantay Presyo, 65 pesos per kilo ang refined sugar. Uh-huh. Uh, right. uh, uh, ito ho kasi tumaas na po no, ng uh, uh, almost, uh, if you monitor ho, mga limang piso ho, ang itinaas na po nito at the average per kilo. So, saan niyo po maaari itong i-contribute? Contribute. Oh, y- 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 yung retail price ho ng sugar. Okay. Opo. Mm. Okay. The supply is here in Negros. Mm-hmm. Because of Typhoon Odette, there's a delay in the... Delivery. Mm. Delivery. Mm-hmm. 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 The bodegas are Opa. filled up with sugar. Uh-huh. Okay? Mm-hmm. The uh, health protocols in Manila... There's a protocol of 
60% only, 50% only, mm-hmm. uh, 10% only, and so forth and so on. Mm-hmm. So all of this has dislocated the system of delivery. Okay. Now, in the sugar order, the very farmer that you want to protect are the, the very people that the sugar order hit. Opo, opo. You And this is unfair. Opo, you said that nga po uh, earlier. But, uh, Sir Robert, mm, yun hong cost of production ninyo because the the rice farmers, no? Uh, um, talaga pong umaaray na at umaaray sa cost ho ng fertilizer, no? Industrial, no? Opo. Sa inyo ho, sa inyo pong hanay, ano ang effect oh nito? Mm. Uh, last crop year, the cost of fertilizer, urea, mm-hmm. talking of urea, mm-hmm. is 800 pesos. Per bag. Mm. Per bag. Mm-mm-mm. In our cultivation now, now because we are cultivating our sugar cane fields for next crop year, mm-hmm. it's already 2,200 per bag. Mm. Wow. That's a wow. That's That, a wow. That's a lot. No, and we have asked increase. GA mm-hmm. and SRA since last year, mm-hmm. the increase of our inputs, can you do something about this? Talk to government mm, 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 uh, mm, 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 subsidize uh-huh. whatever a uh, diesel fuel our cost mm, also mm-hmm. ter 28 pesos last crop year mm. now it's 56 pesos in bacolod mm. opo what opo. do we do uh-huh. mm-hmm. so uh, definitely po tumaas din ang cost of production so magmula nga po ano ang equivalent nito Uh, sir, sa presyuhan po ninyo sa bidding ng inyo pong produkto doon sa buyer po per bag ng asukal, mga magkano ang idinagdag from the original price uh, because of this fertilizer ano, uh, price increase? Uh, how much would it mm-hmm. be to us uh, 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 on a per bag uh, 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 cost of production to mm-hmm. us? It's about 400 to 500 pesos per bag additional. And and it hurts us. It hurts us uh-huh. because uh-huh. The, because reduction alone in product in in the price mm. that is the livelihood of us farmers. We are just farmers. We are not we are not uh, sugar trader. We are not industrial user. Mm. But the oh. sugar order itself it protects the industrial. Only. Apo, apo. Industrial uh, ano ho, no? users. Only. No? Apo, apo. apo. Users. Itong, apo, itong mga malaki po, mga gumagamit nga po ng asukal. Sige po. So, sir, uh, ito ho ang sitwasyon. Ano ho? Uh, in-announce na po ito ng SRA and you are uh-huh. against it. What is your... Do you have any other move aside from, you know, uh, expressing your sentiments and opposition dito po sa move na ito ng SRA? Uh, we, we go back to the... Sugarcane Industry Development Act of 2015. It says it is declared the policy of the state to promote competitiveness of the sugar cane industry and maximize the utilization of sugarcane resources, improve income of farmers and farm workers through improved productivity through diversification, job generation, and increase efficiency of sugar mills. All right. Protection to the farmers. Okay? Now, we find what we are, what we are now trying to, to, uh, to find is a way on this. On how do we now stop, if ever, this, this sugar order? Mm-hmm. Where we can go demonstrate, we can go court mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. We are just trying to find that we have to stop the sugar order once and for all because it is illegal. So you're going to uh, ex- uh, exhaust all legal means including going yes. to court? Including going to yes. court? Yes, uh-huh. yes, yes. So. Sige po. So, keep us posted, sir. Ano po? And uh, just uh, last na lang po, ilan pong uh, sa inyong pong sector, no? sa inyong industriya, ilan lahat ang bilang ng sugar farmers as in mga uh, sa mga naandyan po sa field at nagtatrabaho? Oh boy. 
Uh, let me go to the national. Uh, we have uh, over 60,000 farmers, mm -hmm. 60,000 farmers all over the country. Mm -hmm. uh, we are cultivating about over 400,000 hectares. And that is that is how big the industry. Apa, mm. apa, mm. apa. So protect the farmer. I have been always uh, protect the farmer, not the industrial user. Mm. Any time there is a bidding, we have to sell. So we are under the mercy of mm. of the trader or mm. whoever is buying. Mm. But they are buying and we are selling. Mm. We are not hoarding. Mm. Apo, kasi nga din po kayo obligado ka na yung mag magbenta. Kasi kailang, yes. kailangan nyo ng pangsweldo sa tao nyo. Linggo-linggo naman yan eh. Opo. Exactly. Sige, opo. Right on. Opo. Uh, madam mo salamat, sir. Ha? Sir Robert, ha? thank and, you po. Ha? And, and thank you, Mr. Filon, for this. Thank you very much. Opo. Mabuhay po and we'll be salamat. keeping in touch. Thank you. All right. Sige noong Robert Cuenca po, ang Pangulo ng Atotacion de Agricultores de la Carlota y Pontevedra Incorporated. Ted Failon at DJ Chacha, ngayon nasa Radyo 5, 92.3 News FM, Monday to Friday, 6 to 10 a.m.